aerial news. We are going live to speak to presidential candidate John Decker in the office. The last I have a question about Mr. Decker. I have, I have a question, have a question on the streets. I want to be first. Come on, please, me. Now, come on. Mr. Decker, can you explain why no one has challenged you in this race? I tolerate fixed elections, and I am for fair and unbiased elections. But no one has stood up to the plate. Mr. Decker, with only days left, how do you explain the loss of rights concerning the government and patenting of human beings? It can be proven scientifically that human beings cannot be trusted, and therefore they must be ruled. Okay? But, but, how can you explain that human beings are the property of the government? Well, um, um, yes. Understood? Next question, please. But hey, Mr. Decker, there have been rumors that the gang of anarchy is mounting the resistance against the loss of civil liberties. Do you have anything to add to this situation? I've told you before, these kind of people are legally called terrorists, and they pose a threat to national security, and they must be dealt with. The leader of the Gang of Anarchy has claimed that the government is the real threat to national security. This is not real good here. The opinions of anyone outside the government is considered not true. Only the government tells the truth. Anyone outside the government who is attempting to speak truth is terrorists that are a threat to national security. One more question, Mr. Decker. I have confirmed sources from an informant that full UFO disclosure is imminent. There has never been any proof of little green men being on this earth. That is all I have for today. Wait, wait, wait. One more question. What are you going to do if elected to calm down the tensions of the people? Well, it's simple. It is an idea of mine to set up and create a dumb world order. And we have a real good chance for this dumb world order. The citizens of this world are just not intelligent enough to live their lives and to know how to live. Therefore, they need us, the government, to control them so that we may be safe and secure. It's okay for people to let their rights go because we are protecting their rights. They don't need to do that. We're protecting them. They need to give up their rights and let us be their rights. So this is going to be a wonderful day in history when we have a peaceful and secure society. The dumb world or What? Take this. That's the second time that's happened and you still miss me, sucker!